All right, we've officially reached silly season in the American uh, sports calendar. Uh, this is when whatever you've done on the court or field no longer matters, and all that matters is your measurements and how fast you can run a 40-yard dash or how high you can jump. Um, and so it started off, kicks off with the NFL Combine every year, and then we go on to the NFL, the Pro Days, where the NFL draft picks will perform for scouts. Uh, and somehow, you know, through all these, uh, when draft mistakes happen, nobody can understand why. Uh, there's been a few studies that have looked at uh, combine performance correlated with uh, draft picks and correlated with future, um, you know, NFL performance. And uh, nothing predicts future NFL performance better than um, college performance. Uh, the... Uh, combine measurements and combine tests, a few of them uh, correlate well with draft standing, um, especially 40-yard uh, dash with wide receivers um, will tend to, uh, the faster you run, the higher you get drafted. Um, but still, for most positions, uh, game tape is the best predictor of uh, future success. And so one thing to think about is when you go through these, uh, and even at the pro days where they actually perform techniques, uh, there's never defense. So you take a player out of a game environment and you have him, you know, throw passes to a receiver who's uncovered or you have a, uh, you know, defensive lineman rush a quarterback who's standing still and things like this where there's nothing related to the game. Uh, and so you've simplified the environment um, to an environment where a player can look good. Uh, even an average quarterback can look good when there's no defense there. Uh, so the big thing to think about is uh, one of the things that coaches value the most is decision-making. Uh, and one of the things that separates the elite athletes from the near-elite athletes is perceptual, action, uh, perceptual skills um, or decision-making. Uh, so how I can read the game, make decisions, how quickly I can make decisions, can I make accurate decisions, uh, etc. But these things are absent in the combines and in the pro days. Um, so combines are strictly, you know, athletic measurements. Pro days, you know, you perform some skills, but there's no defense there. Um, so if there's no defense there, there's no decision to make. If I have one wide receiver running out for a pass and I'm a quarterback and there's no defense rushing, well, I'm not stressed for time because uh, there's nobody going to tackle me. Uh, I don't have to decide which player I'm going to throw a pass to because there's only one person running routes. Um, there's no score, uh, no time, game time uh, that will affect a decision making. So uh, basketball, the, the basketball workouts tend to be slightly better because they usually play three on three uh, during their individual workouts with teams. Uh, so there's a little bit of decision making there and you can see some things that might not be there when you're just running a one on o drill or two on o drill or something like that. Um, so. When, when these mistakes are made in the draft and, and somebody comes out of nowhere that you know didn't look good on tape but suddenly has the measurables uh, and gets drafted higher and then doesn't succeed quite as well in the NFL or NBA, just remember that we're, we're overemphasizing these tests that have absolutely nothing to do with the game and eliminate what is probably the most important part of you know, an athlete's success, which is their ability to make decisions and make accurate decisions quickly. Uh, and until these tests can incorporate that into them, the, the tests have very little value uh, and game tape is always going to tell you more about a player than any athletic measurement or, uh, you know, skill type test that you might do.